Yes, Mum. I remember to get the shopping on the way home. Stop asking. What? No, I don't want to set up. Edge and I are fine. It's gonna be a heart attack there. Who are you? Hi, I'm Brett. I'm gonna be working on nights with you from now on. Jason, um, uh, weird. I thought I was the only one on this shift. Why would they bring you on now? Beats me. So, how long have you been working at this amazing place for? About a week. I, sorry, <laughs> it's just to get through union and stuff like that. What about yourself? I've been having a blast for three years now. It was supposed to be a temp job, but then things happen and I'm stuck here. Okay, sure. Sorry, do you want to go for a walk around? Sure, but why? You only just got here. Uh, there's basically a few hours difference between the last shift and my one, and sometimes we've got some weird people coming in, so it's like extra security reasons, you know? Yeah. So, what do you study? Uh, engineering. Interesting, interesting. Do you have a specific career goal in mind or do you just want to be like an engineer? Well, it's more aerospace engineering actually, you know? Um, so like planes and such. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with my life just yet, but my friend Edward's dad was a plane engineer and I always find his work very cool. These are my favorite flowers. Those are weeds. They're not weeds, they're wishes. Haven't you ever blown on one and made a wish? Yellow's my favourite colour too. They're such happy, hopeful little things. We, we, we should keep going. It's a cold night. I, I don't want to go down this road. What? Why? Number 420. It gives me the creeps. Alright, I guess we can skip this row. <laughs> can you answer that? Why not? I mean, it could be quite important now, like, who will be calling you at th this time? I don't want to, okay? I, I, I can't. Come on, Slowpoke. We don't have a night. I just really hate cold callers. <laughs> yeah, but how you know I never learn how to drive. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I've actually had my lessons like years ago. But I'm more of a bike guy, you know. That thing outside is just to get around. I've always hated bikes. They'll get you killed. So you know I've actually taken my CBT test quite recently as well. I don't know, it just feels freeing. I feel like I'm flying. So you got a boyfriend or anything like that? Why do you want to know? I don't know, just making conversation. Well, if you have to know, we stopped seeing each other recently. He wasn't a great guy, really controlling throughout our whole relationship. To be honest, I'm better off without him. What happened? I caught him doing something he shouldn't have. He, he went off the rails and 
And then he... Well, maybe I can... Maybe I can take you out on a ride someday, you know? Show you that it's safer than what most people think. Sure. Wait. Hi there, mate. Um, can I have access to Unit 20, please? Eddie! Of course you can, man. How are you? How's everything going? I'm good, man, thanks. I just need to sort some of my old man stuff out in the unit. Can I have my key? Sure, mate. So sure. how's you and that uh, secret girl? It's alright. Um, I don't think it is gonna last, though. Well, you know what? I'm sure that whatever it is, you'll be able to sort it out. Just don't go cutting her out of your life just yet. I do not want to be the only person left in your life forever. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we'll see, man. Thanks. Uh, that was my friend Eddie I was talking to you about. Bro, are you alright? Huh? What? Is that a weird look in your face? Do you know him? Rude and... I don't know, I just got a weird feeling. Right, why does this paper say you're missing? Okay, Jason, there's something I have to tell you. It's quite a big something. A couple of days ago, I, I was on a walk around and I heard a noise coming from one of the units. I opened the unit door and I saw my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, Edward. He... He was... He was chopping up a body. I confronted him and he said it was someone who crossed him. I tried to leave and he, he wouldn't let me. And when I threatened to call the police, he locked the unit door and swung his axe at me. The next thing I knew, I was stood over my own dead body. Are you trying to tell me that you're dead? Jason. Then my friend did it. That's not funny. Right, that's not funny, you know. I was just starting to like you. Jason, no, please. No, 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 no. I do not want to hear it. Like, what sort of person would say something like that? You know, you're dead. <laughs> just listen to me. I'm sorry, okay, but no one else around here the last few days could see me, and then you show up and you can. I just wanted to feel alive again. Oh, so you're sticking with the whole I'm dead thing? But how can you prove that? No. 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 No, oh, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Where are you going? I'm done. I'm done. She's a... a ghost. Huh. I mean, of course she's going to be a ghost. Like, she's the first girl you liked in years. I mean, why wouldn't she be dead? Ed! Is everything all right? What are you doing, man? Oh, I know. I couldn't make it work with her. <gasps> I'm sorry!
You gonna lie there all day? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Brett. I'm sorry for how I reacted. I'm sorry that you died. I'm, I'm just really sorry. I, I don't think we should leave before the paramedics arrive. Yeah, about that. Ooh. Surprising questions that you could touch me, to be honest. I thought you are smart. Ouch. It's not your time, Jason. I don't want to go back. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Ah, oh, there you are. When you're looking at me, I've never felt so alive and free. When you're looking at me, I've never felt so happy And I've heard of a love that comes once in a lifetime And I'm pretty sure that you are that love of mine